Yeah, they told me I needed walk-on music, so I went with gold finger. Uh, that was quite an introduction. I hope I can live up to that. Thank you. Uh, my name is Fred Wilson, uh, and I want to show you my one name profile. So this identity is verified and resident on the blockchain at onename.com slash Fred Wilson. No one else can take it because it's on the blockchain. I have been investing in early stage emerging technologies for 30 years as a venture capitalist. I work at Union Square Ventures, and we've been interested in and investing in the blockchain sector since 2011. And we have watched this set of emerging technologies develop over the past five years, and we have never been more excited about the potential of decentralized trust systems than we are right now. I want to talk tonight about resilience. Resilience is a trait that we admire in entrepreneurs, and it is a trait that we look for in technologies and systems. I remember when I first heard of the internet early in my career as a venture capitalist in the early 90s, and it was described to me as a massively decentralized system designed to explicitly survive an attack that would bring down one or more of its core systems. And I thought about this, and it really resonated with me. Here was a system that was explicitly not controlled by a single entity and was designed to be resilient and self-healing. I had never really come across a big, massive system that was uh, architected like this. Um, and a few years later, I left that venture capital firm I was working at and started a new firm dedicated to only investing in internet-based businesses. For me, the internet was and is to use a term I, I learned from Joey Ito, a belief system. <clears throat> I have a deep and fundamental belief in decentralized, open, resilient systems, and that belief has informed what I have invested in for most of my career and what I believe in politically and economically. So back in 2011, when I bumped into my friend Ricky Tata on the street, on the street here in New York City, we were just walking down the street, bumped into each other, and I said, Ricky, what, what are you working on these days? And he said, Bitcoin. And I said, what? He said, Bitcoin. And I said, I have no idea what that is. And he said, well, we got to go get a cup of coffee. And we did. Um, and I was just immediately smitten with this technology. Um, here was another technology that was explicitly designed to be resilient, decentralized, open, and available to anyone to innovate on. It fit like a glove into my belief system. And so I started writing about it, meeting with people who were working on it, and eventually investing in companies built upon this new technology. And we now have a handful of portfolio companies um, that are building businesses on blockchain technology. And this is not just my area of interest inside USV. Every one of our investment team members works on and is involved in a company in the sector. Um, our pace of investing in the sector is increasing. And yet, standing here today, I cannot point to a blockbuster company that has been built on blockchain technology. And there has been no lack of trying. There's no lack of funding. I am a true believer in this sector, and yet I can't help but admit, despite all the hype, all the effort of all of you and everybody else and all the capital invested, there has not been anything truly transformative to society that has been built on the blockchain except for Bitcoin and likely Ethereum. But these are enablers. What have they enabled other than gray and black market activities? You know that you are in an unloved sector when you start getting hated on Hacker News for your boosterism. <laughs> I saw this comment there last week. Writing about the blockchain has held me back. Um, <clears throat> I don't think so. Uh, after, um, I don't approach things uh, that way, moving from one hot sector to another. It is a recipe to be late for everything. And I don't let the haters get to me either, even though I seem a little bit uh, defensive about that. <laughs> but I do find it amusing and telling, and it helps me understand the broader mood. Bitcoin, blockchain, and all the rest of this sector are in this position of the hype cycle curve. We're in the trough of disillusionment. Which brings me back to the subject of resilience. 
that's what keeps me excited about the blockchain sector. And that is what all of us who are here tonight and everybody working in the sector need to have right now. This is a Bitcoin price chart since January 2013, right here, I'm gonna show it here. If you draw a trend line from the start of that chart all the way up to the end, it is steadily up and to the right. Obviously, some peaks and valleys, but steadily up and to the right. And during that time, during that same time, the past three years, we have seen so many things that should have meant the end of Bitcoin. So many things. And it just keeps going up and to the right. That tells you something. This is a chart of the transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain over that exact same period. Same thing, up and to the right. This is a resilient system. So just like the set of technologies we were working on in developing, commercializing, we need to be resilient in our work. And a personal and professional resilience starts with a belief system. We must remind ourselves why we believe in open, resilient, distributed, and decentralized systems and the power of these systems to pr produce profound change for businesses, economies, and society at large. There have been and will continue to be headwinds for blockchain-based technologies. Fundamental change does not come easily. We've seen that open source communities can and do struggle to develop consensus about what changes should be made and when and how. We're living through that right now. And that will continue to be a challenge. I personally believe that multiple projects with multiple open source teams developing things in parallel is the best way to manage this risk. That could be multiple teams working on Bitcoin's core system, or it could be multiple blockchains and cryptocurrencies. I think it's likely to be both. We've also seen that companies and industries that are most threatened by these technologies will not sit idly by while the market adopts new ways to do things that they can't control. I see the wave of private blockchains and startups that build and sell them as an attempt to co-opt these technologies. It may take some time for the market to see that for what it is. And we know that governments and elected officials and bureaucrats and regulators who work in these organizations are uncomfortable with these technologies and can be expected to try to rein them in. This is where Coin Center comes in. And I want to personally thank Jerry and his team for all that they have done, all that they are doing, and all that they will do to navigate the regulatory forces for our sector and find common ground and win-win solutions that move our industry forward in a way that governments can live with. That's what they do. This is hard work. It's done largely behind the scenes without any fanfare, and yet without it, our industry cannot and will not succeed. So thank you, Jerry, and the team, and everyone who supports Coin Center and everyone here tonight. To bastardize a phrase from Ben Horowitz, the hard thing about hard things is that they are hard. <laughs> the forces at work to hold back distributed and open trust systems are firing away on all cylinders, and many of our wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, just think about today. I mean, could we have an industry with a little less soap opera? <laughs> it's not an easy time to be a true believer. It's not an easy time to be an entrepreneur who's decided to focus completely on this sector. It's not an easy time to be an investor and cheerleader for this sector. I'm being made fun of. Maybe you are too. But let me tell you this, and I, I believe this more than almost anything else I believe in. If they are not laughing at you, you aren't working on the right thing. I have learned that time and time again in my career, and I really honestly believe that. We are working on the right thing. It is taking longer than I thought and maybe longer than you thought. It still isn't clear to me how this market will eventually break out, but all the signs that I look for are moving up to the right day after day, month after month, year after year. This te technology works and it is working at scale. And our breakthroughs will come. Maybe they are right around the corner or maybe they are years off. But if we stay resilient like the systems we are working on and building, we will prevail. Thank you.